In today's video, we are going over all of the new PlayStation 4 game releases this week, and there are 10 new games coming out this week. Not as packed of a week as recent weeks where you've had huge titles like the Resident Evil 2 Remake and Kingdom Hearts 3, however, there are some significant games I would keep your eyes on. On top of that, I do want to highlight a new PlayStation VR title that is set to be released in 2019, and I have another update for you guys of Final Fantasy XIV. A major character from the Final Fantasy universe is entering FF14, and I want to let you guys know about that. So more on that at the end of the video. First up again, I want to go over all of the new PlayStation 4 game releases this week. And probably the biggest game release this week is God Eater 3. God Eater is a franchise that's been around for quite a while and most people that have played the game will draw resemblances to Monster Hunter, but it definitely has its own unique flair right away when you look at it. You can tell it's got more of a Japanese and anime style presentation, which might draw more people in and might turn some people off. But from a gameplay standpoint, it is quite good with a lot of depth in its gameplay, a lot of different weapons, and how you you tackle each different scenario. Also, God Eater has one element over Monster Hunter, and that's definitely the storytelling. While I'm not going to say that God Eater has a narrative masterpiece, there definitely is a story there, and it's a lot better than what Monster Hunter offers. Do I expect God Eater 3 to be the success that Monster Hunter World was? Absolutely not, but if you go into it expecting its own unique game, I think you'll be rather surprised of what it offers. God Eater 3 drops February 8th. Moving on from that, we have Away Journey to the Unexpected. This is a really cool game that no one is talking about. It's described as a feel-good FPS, a colorful adventure combining action, negotiation, and roguelite elements. You play as a kid that is neither a hero nor a warrior, yet with the power of friendship, you will overcome every obstacle in your way. Again, it's a feel-good game. It's a charming game, and I would keep your eyes on it. It drops February 5th. Moving on from that, Glass Masquerade is dropping February 5th. We had talked about this game a little while ago, but in Glass Masquerade, it's an artistic puzzle game inspired by Art Deco and stained glass artisans of the 20th century. You need to combine hidden glass pieces to unveil clocks and themes exhibited by various cultures of the world at the International Times Exhibition and Interactive Electronics Show. Glass Masquerade hits the PS4 on February 5th. Next up, we have Riot Civil Unrest. Riot Civil Unrest is set in a world where as civil crisis deepens and inequality tears the very fabric of society, the discontentment of the masses manifests itself in violent public disturbances and civil disorder. Play as the police or the angry horde as Riot Civil Unrest places you in some of the world's most fractious disputes. The game drops on February 5th. Next up, we have Everland Legendary Edition. In Everland, the graphic style and gameplay changes as you progress through the game. Harkening to the name of the game Everland, it's a game that's always evolving, which is kind of a cool take on what this game is going for. You embark in a journey through the history of action-adventure gaming, allowing you to unlock new technologies, gameplay system, and graphic updates. It's inspired by many cult series that have left their mark in the RPG video gaming culture. Everland takes you from monochrome to full 3D graphics and from active time battles to real-time boss fights, all with plenty of humor and references to many classic games. Evil Land Legendary Edition hits PS4 on February 5th. Next up, we have a PlayStation VR title that I've personally been looking forward to, and that is The Mage's Tale. The Mage's Tale was already released on PC, and it was received pretty well over there, and the game itself is a virtual reality dungeon crawler that transports you to a fantasy world and turns you into a wizard. As an apprentice of the mystic arts, only you have the hope of saving your kidnapped master. The game is in the 70s on Metacritic, which is pretty good for a VR title, and it'll be hitting PlayStation VR on February 5th. Next up, we have Pipe Push Paradise, an open-world puzzle game that's pretty charming and also doesn't take itself all too seriously. You've arrived on a lonely island faced with a hero's calling rise to the occasion, push pipes around, and restore this paradise to its former glory. You've got tile-based gameplay, dozens of elegant puzzles packed with surprising mechanical twists, lush and relaxing art and music by Teodoro Zamudo, and overall, again, looks like a pretty charming puzzle game and hits the PS4 on February 6th. Next up, we also do have a major beta kicking off in the Division 2 private beta. That'll be kicking off on February 7th, and of course, being a private beta, it won't be available to everyone, but this is gonna be our first chance to get a taste of the Division 2. And this game has been building up a lot of anticipation. I think those that have been into the Division for quite a while saw that game get considerably better over time, and now we have the Division 2. It looks like it's building off the first game, and yes, while there are some that have their skepticism with the title, I think those people mainly only played The Division at launch and they didn't see that progression in the game. The Division 2 has a lot of potential and we should see some of that potential realized with the private beta. Again, that'll be kicking off on February 7th. Next up, we have a pretty interesting PSVR title in Fear of Bugs, The Fear Experience. The game is set in a laboratory that conducts various reach searches on fear. The research is fear resistance to cockroaches. You are exposed to the fear of various cockroaches in a closed space. Can you bear the fear of cockroaches until the end? You get some horror vibes based on fear, but then it also sounds so wacky and so zany. 
I don't really know what to expect out of the game, but Fear of Bugs the Fear Experience will be hitting PlayStation VR on February 7th. And lastly, we do have Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game too. That's a mouthful, but the game will allow you to take part in more activities through your agenda. From Monday until the race weekend, you will compete in different challenges, find new sponsors, and meet fans to obtain incredible prizes. Train hard in the compound, and there's a vast area where you can ride freely and put your custom rider skills to the test, competing against rivals on four different tracks. You can put your leaning, starting, braking, cornering, and scrubbing abilities to the test here. Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game 2, hits PS4 on on February 8th. Okay, so those are all of the new game releases this week. Again, a lot of zany titles, a lot of lower key games, but highlighted by games like God Eater 3, I would definitely keep an eye on that. And there's a couple games that I would add to your wish list, like Away Journey to the Unexpected. I think that could be a surprising hit. Evo Land Legendary Edition. For those of you with PlayStation VR, the Mage's Tale is probably going to be great. And if you did get invited into the Division 2 Private Beta, that's something to be excited for as well. But moving on from now, we do have a couple of other things to talk about. Specifically, I want to let you guys know about Groundhog Day, Like Father, Like Son. A teaser trailer was released for that, and it's a PlayStation VR exclusive title. A pretty interesting game, and it's a virtual reality adventure game to be released in 2019 on PSVR. It's out to over eight hours of hilarious puzzles and branching narrative gameplay. The story challenges you to think past today and break the time loop cycle to escape into tomorrow. Pretty cool presentation here. Again, a very charming game with a cool art style. Could be one of those PlayStation VR titles that stands out from the pack. Again, we don't have an official release date for the game, but it is said to be released sometime in 2019. At least tell me you remember this little guy. Oh, oh, what a nightmare. I guess this town will do that to you. When you come for the groundhog, you stay for the existential dread. That handsome fella is uh, me, by the way. Phil Connors Jr. I know, Jr., right? What an original name. Thanks, Dad. That's my dad for you. One of something was never enough. He was kind of a big deal in this town. Living in his shadow was uh, kind of tough. Then I found out he had a secret. He lived the same day over and over again. Groundhog Day. Sounds like fun, right? Well, it's not. See, seems like now I'm stuck in my own loop. Get ready for the ceremony. Let's do this again. Hopefully today is the day I break the cycle. But if not, there's always tomorrow. Tomorrow is today. I don't know, Phil, you're going crazy. And lastly, I talked quite a bit about Final Fantasy XIV yesterday. We got some really cool trailers for the game. We know that the new expansion in Shadowbringers will be dropping in June if you pre-order, July if you don't. And there's going to be a collaboration event very soon. It's a Final Fantasy XV and Final Fantasy XIV collaboration event. And a trailer was released for that, and it'll be bringing Noctis into the world of Final Fantasy XIV. And the gameplay that's shown in the trailer itself looks very reminiscent to some of the gameplay elements from Final Fantasy XV. You're fighting mechs, you're fighting in these big vistas. You can see yourself and Noctis resting at a campfire. Some pretty cool stuff for those of you that played Final Fantasy XV. I know Final Fantasy XV and the entire ecosystem of Final Fantasy isn't received as one of the better games in the series, but I still really enjoyed it. It's unfortunate that all of the future plans for DLC was canceled and we're only going to be getting the Arden update. But considering the Royal Edition is now available for, what, $20? I think that's a really good buy given what you're getting. And if you are playing Final Fantasy XIV, hey, a cool crossover coming to you guys as well with this Final Fantasy XIV and Final Fantasy XV crossover. Again, do know that Final Fantasy XIV will be getting a slew of updates. A near automata raid by Yoko Taro is coming to the game. And again, the Shadowbringers expansion will be dropping in June if you pre-order through all of the struggles of Square Enix, yes, Final Fantasy XIV started off as an absolute train wreck, but they have really turned the ship around on this. And keep in mind, it's a subscription-based MMO. A lot of those don't really translate in today's gaming environment. But FF14 is one that has been able to stand the test of time. And another expansion coming out, more huge updates, kind of makes it worth the price that you're paying. And that's gonna conclude this video. Again, we have 10 new PlayStation 4 games dropping this week. Groundhog Day, Like Father, Like Son. A teaser trailer for that has been released, and that'll be coming to PlayStation VR in 2019. And Noctis is entering the world of Final Fantasy XIV in a new collaboration project. That sounds awesome. That's gonna conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.